Hey everyone, I'm Patrick Garvey and I'm the Operations Manager over at Interclips. I recently sat down with Dustin Saunders and Kevin Eater to talk about their experience as Interclips employees as well as how working for Interclips has benefited them. I hope you enjoy. Uh, I'm Dustin Saunders and I work as a software engineer for Interclips. Uh, my name is Kevin Eater and I'm a DevOps engineer slash system administrator. Have you always worked at Interclips or did you work at software engineering somewhere else before this? I had other internships um, prior to working at Interclips, but they were all just internships. Um, Interclips kind of had that balance for me, at least in terms of big versus small, as well as established versus new. They give the employees the freedom and the independence to kind of drive where they want to go with the company. The culture allows you to kind of make it what you want. You can do what you want with it. You can drive your own goals, for example. Um, you're not just set into some cor some kind of corporate ladder um, where you have to, you know, climb the rungs. You can kind of set your own path. Um, it's very interesting and different from other companies. As far as company cultures go, what was the main difference that you noticed between Interclips and your previous employer? So when I, you know, when I joined Interclips, like the first thing they had me do was when I was signing my paperwork, I actually signed it with someone else who was joining so that like the two hours, you know, instead of just sitting in a conference room as someone keeps coming in and coming out, I was sitting with someone else and like getting to know him. So I already know someone with the company that already has similar interests to me, which I didn't really have before because I was only really dealing with like one or two people at the last company. They definitely try to get everyone to like meet each other more. Um, you know, and obviously they encourage everyone to come to the office, even though a lot of us aren't in the office. But yeah, like from the jump, just being able to know someone and know, being like, oh, like I can go talk to this guy all the time because now I know and he's new to the company too. So he doesn't know what's going on. Like we, we can, you know, form a bond. So it was, it started off on a good foot for me, for sure. After you joined Interclips, what was like the first change you noticed about yourself, be it either like personal or like in your professional uh, capacity? Interclips allowed me to kind of, again, drive my career where I wanted it to go. Um, not only was I able to kind of pick and choose a little bit of what I wanted to work on, but also was able to talk with my boss, for example, that was, and we had a very close relationship and still do to this day, but we have really driven my career where I've wanted to go and put me in the driver's seat. You can go and make it what you will. Um, you get as much in as you put into it yourself. You get much as much out of it as you put in yourself. I just remember like just talking, trying to like soak up anything I could because it was like, all right, you're not, you're on a project that like matters and like people give a crap. And like th there is like actual like stakes to getting this stuff to work. And it definitely made me feel good to be like, or, you know, it made me, it, made, it gave me a drive to work harder and to learn and to kind of like soak up everything else because I had, there was someone depending on me, there was a government league coming to me and going like, I recognize you and I'm like looking at you like, and being on a project like that from the company is good because that means they're putting you in a spot that, you know, you have an opportunity to grow and do something here. Like that was great because it was just more, it was more learning, it was learning on the job. So I was getting paid to learn and work. So that was great. Have you noticed the difference between the company culture at Interclips and other places and what something that, what are things that stand out to you? Some of the other things, for example, I've just the benefits in general have been a lot better um, from my personal experience. I know before um, in some of the other companies that I was working with when they were proposing full time employment after my internship, um, just looking at over some of the benefits that they had, as well as um, just kind of the packages that they provided. Um, nothing compared to what I'm getting now in terms of benefits from the company. So it's just a very much a competitive atmosphere when it comes to that type of stuff. And most of the time, nobody can really compare it to what we do. The knowledge some of these people have. I know that I know companies have depths of knowledge, but like I've never heard so many points of contact that like we have so many people that we can like rely on or, oh, this organization really loves Interclips or, oh, this team really loves this or, oh, Chris just went and made his own new project up. Like he just created something out of thin air because they trust Interclips and they trust the people we have. And I'm just like, what? Like you can do that? And they're like, oh yeah, you can totally do that. Like, and hearing that kind of stuff and seeing that the people we have at our company can um, branch out and create these opportunities for people is cool. And it's cool to be a part of that. So what has been, the biggest project or event um, that has made a, the biggest difference on you? One of the biggest events that has 
kind of changed the course I'll say of my career at least was um, when I was working with my boss on the same project. Um, the I had been brought in kind of as a junior developer at the time, a junior software engineer, um, and really we had talked previous to this, you know, employment and this moving on to this contract, but. Um, my whole goal was actually trying to be more of a leader in the team, even though I was still a junior developer. And with his sway, as well as his influence at the customer site and, you know, being able to provide that atmosphere, um, he was allowed, he allowed through working with the customer at the time, they figured out a way that I could actually help lead part of the project. Um, so at the time I was still, I was working not only my normal development job, but I was also trying to grow my career as more of a leadership role. That was really kind of the turning point, at least for me, it was seeing that, you know, oh, hey, you know, my boss actually cares for where I want to go in my career. And, you know, he's going to provide as much support as possible for me to go and achieve the goals that I want to achieve, um, no matter what the cost, no matter where we were at. And again, there's a lot of lessons learned along the way. We were able to, you know, have retrospectives on a normal basis and talk through kind of what's going well and what's not going well. Um, I was able to, you know, talk through any of the mistakes that I was making and, you know, really be open and honest. I think part of the part of the mentorship process in general um, between a, a boss and an employee really has to be that transparency, and that openness. So I haven't had that really besides here at Interclips. Any of the other jobs that I've had have been, um, I'll say it's been very official, right? You, you have the official guy that comes up and tells you you're doing good or you're, you know, you need to work on this area, but it's never, there's never really much input from the employee. Um, so it's it's a very different dichotomy there where the servant leadership as well as some of the mentorship given is just beyond anybody else uh, in terms of the IT sphere. Whatever you think of a company, if, if I could be there for eight years, you know, I wouldn't be there for eight years if, it's, if there's not something good going on there. You, you don't stay places where you feel comfortable and you feel heard and you feel seen, you know, and you feel satisfied on a certain level. If you're, if you're there for eight years, you know, you're not going to be miserable for that long in your life. You might do something bad for one or two years, but I'm nearing, you know, I'm, I'm nearing almost a decade at the company, which is kind of crazy. I wouldn't do that if I wasn't comfortable here. I wouldn't do that if they weren't looking out for me or I didn't feel comfortable, you know, I didn't feel confident in the relationship that I had with the company. 